Baby. 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 Beautiful. The real reason I pulled you all over is you're about to hit a stretch of about 30 miles with no cell phone towers. You can't get gas in Quicksilver about 12 miles in. But well, get in and get out of here. Looking you got my water from that mine and lifting an Appalachian transplant crazy. Can I, can I help you? Just looking for a room. Honeymoon sweet if you got one. Hi, first of all, you look stunning. I love this look. How much fun has it been to tour your film around, especially going to Cannes? It's been amazing. It's been amazing to get to share this movie with everybody and to go to Cannes and, and premiere at the Italian Riviera Film Festival. Tell me a little bit more about that. I mean, that's a once in a lifetime sometimes experience, right? Yeah, so it, it, filmed at, um, it filmed in Trillingwood, Texas, which was very different than Sestra Levante, Italy. But um, it was beautiful, and we all got to go together. I think it was all our first time as well. Right. So it was a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about filming, right? Because you were in Texas. It was hot. How did you deal with that? How did you manage to stay in character through that kind of insane heat? It's difficult to, to act when you're like in physical pain. It's a, it's a difficult thing to do because a lot of the times actors were... Putting, we're, we're making ourselves cry, or we're, you know, we're putting ourselves in uncomfortable and very unglamorous conditions. And heat, extreme heat, is like one of those because you're sweating, you're like dehydrated. I knew it was really bad when the set medic had an IV in her arm. Oh. Yes. So what did you do to make sure that you were hydrated and cooled down in between takes? Well, thankfully we had like cooling trucks and we had Gatorade and water and IVs, and so we had a lot of. Um, methods to staying cool. Well, something that I loved about Frank and Penelope is that it's kind of in a genre of its own, right? It's really, really cool. What about the project attracted you? So, it is a genre bending film. I know I wouldn't say it's a romance, and I wouldn't say it's all horror, and I wouldn't say it's a th technically all thriller, but it's kind of a mix of all of those. I think it's a road movie. That's what I would, like, what genre I would put it in. Okay. Yeah. And it's also really cool because Sean was your director. What did you think about him stepping behind the camera for once, and how did that help you as an actress? It was great. It was a great experience because Sean is he's an actor, so he can teach us so much about how to you know, act while we're making the film, you know? Yeah. So I think for me it was like um, he understood. And he was also the writer. He, was like, he understood the characters because he was like writing it, directing it, and acting in it. And I have to ask, how are you feeling? Are you okay? I know it was a very scary night that you had. Yeah. Oh, last night? Yes. Well, are you okay? yeah, I'm okay. I just, I woke up and I just went to work and that's it. Continuing on? Yeah. Just okay. kind of tried not to think too much about it, you know? It's kind of like one of those things where I didn't want to, it to be in the public because I, it's, it's dangerous, you know? It's not a safe thing to, um, he, he, yeah, I won't speak too much on it. <laughs> no, I totally understand. I just want to make sure you're okay and you look beautiful. So congratulations on the film. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. She and I have a love not even death could feel.